This lesson is your introduction to LabVIEW and common types of applications that you will be able to build after finishing this course. LabVIEW is an integrated development environment designed specifically to accelerate the productivity of engineers and scientists. LabVIEW integrates with national instruments and other hardware in one environment. When you're ready to program an application, LabVIEW helps save development time with convenient features and a consistent programming framework across all hardware. Developed specifically with engineering and scientific technical data in mind, LabVIEW includes a comprehensive collection of drag and drop controls and indicators that you can use to quickly create a custom user interface for your application for operator input, viewing live data, and visualizing analyzed results. In LabVIEW, you can select from an extensive number of analysis and signal processing algorithms to get valuable insight into your data quickly without needing to spend your resources developing analysis algorithms from scratch. LabVIEW also allows you to use and reuse text-based algorithms using M-File and C syntax. Native to LabVIEW is an intuitive graphical programming language, G, that uses a data flow model instead of sequential lines of text code, which enables you to write functional code using a visual layout that resembles your thought process. You can use LabVIEW applications to acquire measurement data from sensors and signals using NI data acquisition hardware. Then analyze and process data, display and visualize live data, and analyze results on the user interface. In addition, you can log the data to file for storage, reporting, and future analysis. You can also use LabVIEW applications to control and automate standalone benchtop instruments made by other vendors and acquire data from these instruments. This allows you to save valuable time by automating manual processes and gives you the ability to integrate a large variety of hardware into your application. You can use LabVIEW to develop an automated test system that runs a sequence of tests on a unit or device under test and determine if the device passes or fails. Here's a summary of what you've learned 